It's like when I'm your dad sure got his like Facebook page yes. and started messaging me. Hi guys, welcome back to She Show Videos, where we are your hosts, Brittany and Elizabeth. Yes, and before we get started talking about anything, subscribe, okay? We are here for you. Today's gonna be an educational one, okay? Okay, for me too. No, okay. it's been a while, so you might actually not be, maybe I'm just dropping the knowledge, okay? Okay. Okay, but you used to be a hoe too, so what? who knows? So a while ago. It was a long time ago. No, you were 29. So it wasn't that long ago, but. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Continue Back on. to me. Uh, so let's talk about this funny and fickle line between pending relationship and relationship. Okay. Okay. The one that you're currently writing? Is that <laughs> the line? <laughs> Okay. Oh mm -hmm. my goodness! Do not put my business in the oh, streets. I know this what is my not about you. I know what my defining line is. Okay. Okay. Do I have time to get multiple? Bit? No. No. <laughs> I don't. So you're just gonna <laughs> settle <laughs> into this. So one. just ride the dick into the wind. Okay. okay. Neither here nor there. Mm -hmm. Okay. For our younger people, mm -hmm. when is the time that you say? You're no longer in a pending relationship. We're no longer holding. We're in a real relationship. So, I guess I don't really know what the signs are. To me, <clears throat> there's a couple factors to this. Mm -hmm. The first and most important is exclusivity. Like, I need to know that we are only banging each other. And I don't always think that exclusivity means you're in a relationship. It just means that you're not banging anyone else. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that has to be established first. I agree. Okay, because, and that's not, they're not mutually exclusive. No. Like just because we are exclusive to one another does not mean we are in a relationship. I also, And yeah. you have to find a partner and that's okay with that. Cause some people don't want the, that like, I don't know, those guardrails without the, perks of a relationship, mm -hmm. but other people don't want a relationship. I also think just because you're exclusive in sex doesn't mean that you can't not go out with other people. Okay. So like if I'm ex if I'm telling you like I really don't want to have sex with anyone else because you know I'm not on my hoe shit no more and I don't want to be like that 40 year I didn't say what I was saying. Oh happening. okay. You're just saying okay, that. I'm just okay. saying in general. In general, okay. <laughs> okay. And I'm just saying I don't want to be on my hoe shit no more. I don't want to be like, whose baby is it at this point? I want to have sex with the same person. Doesn't now mean that I'm... Maury's not on anymore. Jerry Springer's not I on. Know. Maury's How not on. We find out? Who? Paternity test Tuesdays. But either way, neither here nor there, that doesn't mean that you also have to only date that one person. Even if you told that person, like, we're only just you and me sleeping together, I don't mm -hmm. want to sleep that with anyone else, that doesn't mean you can't go out with other people. Yeah, I just think it's about communication. Right? I and I think when, uh, when I was younger, specifically, I was not really good at that, but I also was a hoe, and nobody was really looking for that. Mm -hmm. Like, we, I wasn't in a place in my life where I needed to, like, talk to this guy, and he wanted to make sure I was exclusive. I think that's something that happens as you get older. Yeah. Like, you realize we probably shouldn't be dicking everybody down at the same time. Yep. It's not really that hygienic, to be honest. But and, you know. yeah, I don't want to have to, like, worry about who's the dad. So, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, to kind of just take this in a different direction, I also don't like the will you be my boyfriend, will you be my girlfriend conversation. I think that's weird at any age. Well, I do... <sighs> I do think it puts you on the same track. So I do think that if you have that conversation, like, what are we doing here? Are we trying to date? Are we moving towards dating? Are we not? I think that's important. And I think that's the type of communication. However you do it is up to you. You don't have to be as it official. Just provide a roadmap. Yeah. Yes. You don't have to be as official as like, will you be my girlfriend? We get it. I would probably say like, what are we doing here? Like we've been banging for a little while. Like, are we trying to move to the next step? Are we strictly daily? Like, what are we doing? Like, okay. am I out here pussy popping on a handstand and the no, sugar daddy comes up and says, I'm trying to marry you. Like, do I have okay. to text you first or I'm just, I don't, I'm ghosting. Like, what are we doing? I don't think it, does it I don't matter? Know. Like, I, the ma I don't know. You're right? laying down the ground. Yeah. Work. Okay. So you're just laying down the foundation. But I also think that 
Some people are very overly excitable about getting in a relationship or being exclusive. Thirsty. I said easily. You know what? Don't don't come for people like that. So they'll say it, or like girls will ask guys, like, "What are we doing here?" And the guys will just. We can be in a relationship. So That's then you say what? Ask. Yeah. Then you say, "What does relationship mean to you?" Because some guys are like, we can be in a relationship, but I'm also in a relationship with this person and this person. So you got to lay down the facts because that's how you get hurt feelings mm -hmm. real quick. And again, that's what I'm saying. Like a relationship and being exclusive are not the same no. thing. So you can't think that because you ask for one and they agree that you're also getting the other. You have to be really clear. Yeah, you really do. Because I feel like there's some people out here that say we're in a relationship. But then, this is why when people go through other people's phones, you're going through the phone and you're realizing, is he? <laughs> he's in a few relationships. Yeah, like, he's in some situationships too. Oh, mm -hmm. some okay. entanglements. Yeah, so you got to be specific. And also, I would say, don't rush to be in a relationship because if you rush to be in a relationship off a few first dates, like you go on a couple of dates. That honeymoon period. Yes! You go on a few first dates and you guys are vibing and you're kikiing and you're having a good time. That's us. But we've been together for 20 plus <laughs> years. And we're still kikiing. Uh huh. And you're kikiing and all of a sudden something happens. This happened to me one time. I was talking to this guy and he, I'm a single mom and he is ex, is a single mom. And he was like, she complains that she's tired all the time. I'm talking some shit. Mm -hmm. I was like, bitch, because she, she is, is tired. tired. I mean, she Damn. is tired. If she wasn't single mom and she was with you, she'd still be tired because moms are like, tired. Yes, are just tired by nature. And he was like, I feel like you're taking her side. I'm like, I will always take her side. He was like, you don't even know her. I'm like, don't have to. Don't I know moms because I'm a single mom. So yep. there's no point where you can not just over here talking shit about single moms being tired. Or any or, moms. Yeah. Bitch, any moms. So especially the, single So moms. then things went south. And this was after like a couple weeks of date or not. I, I recall of going this out. Okay. I recall. I also think it's more complex when you're older because there's kids, because there's past, because there's like all these things, right? When you're younger, like I can say, let's be boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't really mean anything. You're not contributing to my bills. You're That's not staying at I'm my house. At. Like you're not it doing these things. So I don't know. Don't be so thirsty to be in a relationship that doesn't mean anything. I think it is more effective if you wait and it means more because now you're invested, you know his kids, you know his parents, you know his grandparents, you know her stuff. So you like a courting period. Yes, let's okay. not just jump okay. into it. Let's not just pop off like we had a few good dates and now we're dating. I do agree with that. Because you don't know this motherfucker could be mental. And by this motherfucker, she means herself. <laughs> oh. She's not wrong. Okay. It's real easy to hide, especially if you're just casually dating, mm -hmm. right? There's nothing hard. There are there's you don't no stress. Have bills, so right. There's no shared like interest. Yeah. There's nothing. So you don't find out then how they deal with stressful situations mm -hmm. or disagreements or compromise because you don't have to do any of yeah. that. So I do agree. I feel like you need to extend it to mm -hmm. give yourself a chance. We don't want to have disagreements. We don't want to have these things, but the longer you're together, the more likely they will happen. Exactly. And then you can navigate them together and decide, is this a partner that I really want for me? Do I really want to be in a relationship? Does this person handle stress the way I want to handle stress? No. Does this person the hand no. want to parent kids the way I want to parent kids? There's also uh -huh. Does this parent think the same way I think when it comes to certain situations yep. that are make or break? I feel like in the first couple of weeks, you don't understand what's make or break. And you just think everything is rainbows and sunshine. And then you realize it gets harder. And then especially if you already have kids because you don't want to integrate your kids into somebody else's life only to yeah. yank out the chain. Yep, I agree. Don't rush into it, people. No. We got plenty of time. We do. Bye, guys. Bye. Oh, look. Remember when you bought that room?